Okay, this is also on your page layout. You uh, click up here on your page layout. We'll talk about margins. Um, I always choose the normal, but you can make them more narrow or uh, make them a little bigger or, or any of these you can pick. I'm going to pick normal, which is one, one, uh, one inch down and on the sides. Um, we're not going to talk about columns right now, but we are going to talk about page color. Now here you can change the color of your page. Now the only thing that's wrong with uh, this is that it will take a lot of ink to use a colored paper. It'd be better to buy uh, paper already colored and then put your writing on it. Unless you're needing a black uh, with a white writing on it. Otherwise you can buy a colored paper that's already colored. So it's better not to use this, but if you want to, here it is. Uh, page border, this is something you may use. Here you can choose the type of uh, border you want. You can choose any of these. And uh, they give you several little details here. So just little swirlies or, or here's a triple border. Uh, you can also choose how thick this border is going to be. Like right there. Um, you can also choose an art if you rather have an art instead of that border. But we're not going to do that. You can apply it to the whole document or just to a certain selection or just to your first page. You can apply it only to uh, three sides, two sides, one side, other side, or all sides. Whichever you want to do. You can change the color of this, like right here. Now I want it back on all sides, or at least we're just going to put it on two sides. And we can also do a 3D on this. And here we go. Now we have a border on our page. And this is pretty nice. Even if you have it in landscape, where you go to orientation, go to landscape, you can still have your border on there. Go back to portrait. Okay, that's the end of this one. We'll try another one in just a minute.